Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the technical trader. It's Wednesday, the 10th of March, and uh, these are the charts of the day. First of all, apologies to my subscribers. I promised to them I was going to uh, furnish a list of my top 10 biotech picks. Uh, and unfortunately, this is with so many stocks moving, uh, I, th I thought it was more important to highlight uh, the ones that right now that appear to be um, in motion, and um, I will furnish a list of those biotech stocks shortly. But uh, for today, let's start with AIG, which has broken the six-month declining tops line, bounced up, pulled back, did a retest, about a 50% Fibonacci retracement, formed a right-handed extended V, had an explosive surge the last two days, in the last four or five days in particular. It's moved from 25 to 37. Um, if we do get a pullback, this is right now the supports around the $32 level, but uh, there is some overhead resistance around 39. I expect maybe test it tomorrow. We shall see. Secondary resistance up around 45, 47. That would be my uh, more intermediate trading target, but certainly with the thrust and volume technicals and a breakout across lateral price resistance and uh, taking out the moving averages recently, this one looks like it's in motion similar to what it was back in um, August of last year. So let, let, let's see if we, what kind of follow through we get on it. Hamlin Pharmaceuticals, this is also one of my top 10 biotech picks. Uh, had a very good day today on 8.1 million shares, jumping $1.28. Breaking out across the, this line here, which I consider resistance, um, and headed now what apparently looks like to key lateral price resistance up around the 23 and a half area. That should be forthcoming shortly. <clears throat> Secondary target up around the um, call it 33 range. That's uh, a bit of a more of an intermediate target, uh, but I expect to see a short-term run perhaps towards the 23 and a half range. Chop. That's China Geru Advanced Materials Group, CHOP. Um, had a very strong session today and a key breakout across this resistance line with the gap. Did pull back, but still closed up 49 cents, so almost 7% at 1.3 million. That's the heaviest volume in more than two months. Um, the stock looks like it has momentum and could move a little bit higher. There is resistance up in this zone. Wouldn't be surprised to see it pull back and consolidate, but we may very well get this to move up towards the 99.5 range short term. Portfolio position Cyclocell Pharmaceuticals had a significant day in my mind. Uh, this very bullish, the very bullish technicals in this stock in the last couple of months during the consolidation process um, were an in indicative of a potential move that may have begun today as the stock jumped 12 percent on four and a half million shares. That's the heaviest volume since uh, mid-February, about four weeks. The, the, this declining or falling wedge here was broken. The stock popped through the 10 and 21 day moving averages and may now test around the um, 278.80 zone the declining tops line with secondary resistance up around 290. So um, that's what I'd be looking for a breakout of this larger wedge and a move that eventually takes it up to retest the $4 range, my next trading target. DJSP Enterprises, uh, a recent reverse merger with another firm, um, has run recently from 8. Uh, to, with a breakout today on heavy volume of 452,000, the heaviest volume since it um, was listed. The stock has uh, run about another 5% today and um, broken out up to new all-time high territory. Uh, with strong fundamental projections, I expect this stock could work its way higher, and I'm looking for a move that takes it up to $12 short term. That's my trading target. EXAS, Exact Sciences, had a big move today. Note that the stock had a beautiful base pattern from July through December, broke out mid-December and ran up into the um, just under $5 range, around, around 4 dollars 40 or though. Backed off, came on again, and then today popped, broke out on the heaviest volume we've seen in the stock in quite a while, um, at least a couple of years. The stock um, is in a beautiful rising channel. The top of that channel measures around the uh, 6 85.7 zone. That's my um, intermediate trading target. My short-term target is about the 590 area. Force protection, FRPT, after basing and coiling and breaking out yesterday, had a nice follow-through today. That took it through the lateral price resistance level um, on decent volume of 2.1 2 million shares. That's a little bit less than yesterday's, uh, about half of yesterday's 4.2, but um, price progress <clears throat> and now puts it into this large down gap from last July. I'm expecting that to be filled up around the 7.5 range short-term target, 
Longer term target around the nine and three quarters ten zone at the top of this long range lateral resistance line that I've drawn in here you know, going back a couple of years. Next up is OVTI, old favorite of ours. Um, had a big run from December through uh, October, from through September, rolled over in October, but then bounced, formed a base, triple bottomed around the, um, or quadruple bottomed around the 11 and a half, 12 zone, and since then has been on a straight run to retest the old high uh, up here around the uh, 17 and a half dollar level. I expect that could be tested tomorrow. And a break through that gets us into um, uh, test probably the $19 level, which is the early spring high in 08. And then beyond that, maybe uh, run into the mid-20s, my longer-term target in OBTI. <clears throat> Radware, RDWR, had a significant day. You can see the beautiful rising channel underway. Pop, flag, pop, flag, and today it started to move out again as the volume increased and the stock moved up 43 cents. I, I'm, I'm looking for a move that takes this to the top of the channel right now. That measures approximately around the 21, 21 and a half zone. That's my short-term trading target. That's what I'll be looking for on uh, RDWR. Skechers had a significant day and nice follow-up to yesterday's action. You can see it's broken out across the January, early March highs with volume. And the uh, rising channel that's underway says that this could be a stock that trades in the low 40s or about uh, 8 to 10 points higher than where we are now in the next uh, few weeks. Lastly is Zeratex XRTX, beautiful rising channel, former portfolio position. We exited up here, uh, but the stock then formed a wedge, broke out on heavy volume on a big breakaway gap three days ago, backed off, and then today's came on again and jumped 98 cents or nearly 6%. This is a stock to me that is headed for the top of the channel. Lateral price resistance around 23. That's my shorter term trading target, long term target in the high 20s. Those are your ideas for today, and uh, we will talk to you later in the week.